All right, so let's see how much you actually understand about cube roots. Because uh, if you do understand cube roots, well, solving this problem or simplifying this expression without a calculator should be very easy. Okay, so the problem is five times the cube root, not the square root, the cube root of 192. Okay, so what is this equal to? Well, again, we're not going to be using our calculators, but uh, if you think you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain how to solve this problem. All right, so we have five times the cube root of 192. So this expression simplified is equal to the following. So that would be 20 times the cube root of three. So that is the correct answer. And if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm totally lost. What's going on here? Well, what we're talking about is uh, a topic in math called radicals, right? So this symbol right here is not just uh, only the square root symbol, okay? This is a radical in math because we can have all different types of roots. We can have the cube root, the fifth root, et cetera, et cetera. So we need to understand how to work with radicals and simplify them. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get started right now. So we have five times the cube root of 192. Now, what the, the probably the, um, the main key to understanding this problem is the following, okay? When you have the square root of a number, like let's say the square root of 10, the square root, because there's a little two up there, you can write that as 10 to the one half power, okay? So this little number right here becomes a denominator. It's always over one, okay? Well, that's not the case, but let's just kind of keep it simple here. So the square root is one half, okay? So this two is the denominator. So the cube root of 192 is actually equal to one over three, okay? 192 to the one third power, because this little three is gonna be acting as our denominator. This is something we call rational exponents. You definitely need to understand uh, how this works, okay? So if you understood this, you can just kind of follow the pattern. So the cube root of 192 is the same thing as 192 to the one third power. Okay, so if you understood that, that's excellent. And so let me go and erase this. So what we need to do is figure out what 192 to the one third power is. That's really where the work is at. And then once we figure out what this is, we'll multiply that by five. Now, the way you need to do this is we have to factor 192. Okay, you wanna factor this down just like a good old factor tree. And uh, you should be doing this like in middle school or at least have experience with this. But the way you do that is just start um, looking for numbers that go into 192. So I'm going to just start with three. OK, so you can you can use any numbers to kind of break this up. But you're looking for all the prime factors of 192. Your factor tree can look different than mine. But your answer, your final answer, uh, there's only one final answer. Let's just say that. OK, so uh, three goes in 192, 64. So when you have a prime factor, I like to circle them. Okay, that means that we can't factor anymore. So three times 64 is the same thing as uh, 64 is the same thing as eight times eight. We can still factor here. And eight uh, can be, uh, these right here can be prime factored as two times two times two. These are prime numbers. So I can write that as a power two times two times two is two cubed. So I have another eight over here. So I have two cubed times two cubed. So I'm kind of, um, speed this up a little bit by showing you that all the prime factors and these ones I wrote in powers. Okay, so 192 is equal to three, this prime factor, times two cubed times this other two cubed, okay? Now, we need to know this property of exponents here, a to the m times a to the n. Anytime you are multiplying powers that have the same base, this big number down here is the same or variable, we simply add the exponents, okay? So this is equal to a to the m plus n, okay? So hopefully you knew that. If you didn't, here it is right there. Okay, so uh, this final factoring of 192 is gonna be, or 192 is equal to three, this prime factorization times two to the sixth power, okay? We don't wanna write this this way, three times two times two times two times two times two. Anytime you have, uh, something you can write as a power, uh, definitely do that. Okay, so this is what we need right here.
Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and replace that 192 with this stuff and we'll see how we can get the answer here. All right. So now before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're gonna do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Again, we have uh, five times a cube root of 192. We know that uh, 192 or the cube root of 192 is the same thing as 192 to the one third power. And now we know that 192, in case we just factored it, is equal to three times two to the sixth power. So I'm gonna replace that 192 times this. So we're gonna take these numbers to the one third power. So we need to know another property of powers and exponent and that exponents, and that is this. Anytime you have an outside exponent, just uh, uh, and we're taking a power to an outside exponent, something like this, two to the fourth to the third power, well, all you need to do is just multiply that outside uh, power times the inside power. So that would be two to the 12th, okay? So in this case, the rule is a to the um, m times n, and this could be multiple powers on the inside. So we're gonna take this one third and multiply it by three. But what is the power of three up there? Well, it's just one, okay? We, we It's three of the first is the same thing as three, but let's just put a little exponent up there so we're not lost. So we're gonna distribute the one third times the one and the one third times the six. Okay, so three, or sorry, uh, one times one third is of course one third. So when I multiply that one third times this power, I get three to the one third, and then one third times six, hopefully all of you are experts in fractions. If you're not, you gotta check out some of my YouTube videos on fractions. They literally got millions of views. So this is gonna be two, okay? So now we got two, to the uh, second power. So six times one third is two. And so uh, now we have to deal with this, okay? And what is this uh, telling us? Well, we have two squared is four. We have three to the one third. And now this is all multiplication. It's gonna be this times this times this. So this is all one big multiplication problem, okay? This is uh, gonna be one big product. So now I'm gonna be like, okay, when we're multiplying, remember order doesn't make a difference. So I'll take five times four that's gonna give me 20. So 20 times what? Well, I, I still got this three to the one third right here. So we gotta um, take this three to the one third and remember what we learned about radicals, okay? Remember, we this is the same thing as the cube root of three, okay? So remember, if I, wanted, if I had the cube root of three, I could write that as three to the what? One third. Okay, think of it that way, right? This is gonna be the denominator. So when you do see a fractional exponent like this, a rational exponent, you can uh, write it back again in a radical form. You need to know how to go from this direction back to this direction, okay? And this takes practice, but something you absolutely need to know if you're studying any sort of algebra course. So we don't wanna leave our, we don't wanna leave our answers as three to the one third. We wanna write it, put it back in radical form, and there is our final answer. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may wanna check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course. I'm gonna leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.